Everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Marina, and this is my husband Eddie. How's it going? He's a driver today. I went yesterday for like 30 minutes, and the fastest I've ever shopped in my entire life at a thrift store. I'm usually there for like, I'm always there for like an average of three hours. Oh, I get Oh, yeah. Hi, friend. Um. Anyway, so I have like a big haul already at home, but we're headed out just to check to see if there's anything else. I was. Not wanting to go, but after yesterday being such a good haul, I kind of want to go out now. Right now, we're going to donate all of the stuff that's been sitting in our hallway. Finally. Finally. And it's all back here. He literally has a tree on his lap. <laughs> so we're headed to the Valley Village just to go get rid of it really quick. Because we haven't ate, so we need to go eat and then we'll come back to go through shopping. Show us how you've been driving. I'm holding this so it holds the branches down. With this one. Oh my gosh. The, most, the struggle is real for this tree. We have some wipes. We have this like Lysol mini spray. Got a Target for a dollar. This was a dollar too. Like it for Daisy because she loves birds. Oh, there's a bird on it. These cute little containers. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's chipped. Yeah, so many cute baskets. Love this, but I don't need it. $2.99. I don't have plants. I can't have plants. My cat will eat them all. A lot of pretty things. Here's another cute little lace. I love these. Do you like them? Yeah, I do. $6.99. Well, they're probably priced separately. Okay, this one's $4.99. And this one's $2.99. I need these. Can I get some? Can I get the cute? Yeah. You like them? Yeah, I they're nice. See, I didn't see them yesterday. Yeah, I think they look nice. Especially because you're going for like a clay look. Yeah, I'm trying to do like pottery, clay, yeah. ceramic, um, handmade, second hand for our entire home, including the dishes. Not the yeah. silverware. I'm not going to go to that extreme. But oh my gosh. These are beautiful. We need a cart then. All right, I'll go get one. Let's go get a cart. Did fine. These little small ceramic dishes for portioning out stuff um, for like baking or like serving sauces and stuff like that. So, three ninety nine for all of those. But it's adorable. We don't need it now. Oh my gosh! I found this yesterday, and I thought it was so cute. It's like a little eating mini bag. <laughs> A dollar and nine. So cute. I'm going on a trip. <laughs> they tell me to pack light. This is <laughs> just kidding. That's what you would allow me. You're like pack light, and then you give me that. <laughs> this at home at my mom's house this is like one of the things I would collect growing up this is made in Italy so that's really pretty My battery's not gonna last long, so I cannot film too much longer in here. Alright, 
ready? All right, we're gonna leave now. Okay guys, so we officially made it home. This is everything that I bought from my uh, thrift trip back from being out of quarantine. I'll also be sharing some stuff I got from Facebook Marketplace in this video, because why not? We're working on the living room and the dining room area as of right now as a collective whole, and I've been adding more hints of brown, um, a lot of glass items like crystal, uh, a lot of pottery and handmade things. But for the longest time, I could not figure out what my style was, and I think I finally figured that out. And I'm really happy with everything I got because I feel like it makes me feel more at home, if that makes sense. Because living in an apartment is a little bit trickier to to feel like you're it's yours, you know. So this is like the importance of like really figuring out what your style is, what you like, and what makes you feel comfortable and happy. So this is like all of this for me. So let's get into it. I'm so happy with everything I found. So I'm gonna come a little bit closer. We're gonna start over here. We have blankets. And so the first one I got is a $10 blanket is what it's priced at. And it was in amazing condition with little tassels on the end. I've really been on the hunt for um, neutral blankets so we found this one super big I love this so much a lot of this stuff I got in like 30 minutes I kind of touched on it in the beginning of the video I was so excited and how fast I found everything just like when you know you love some things it's easy to find things at the thrift store that you know you're gonna put in your car and you're not gonna regret it so that was like a 30 minute trip for me and it's, you'll be a lot faster when you figure out what your style is for sure and what you're looking for so if you don't go into a thrift store not knowing what you want you will be in there longer you're probably a little bit more frustrated you'll still find some cool stuff but anyway so um next item is this very very large blanket i'm not going to open up entirely but it just looks like this it's black and cream um i've been wanting to switch over my style of my living room. I wanted something that was a little bit modern but still rustic at the same time. And to me, a lot of like wood items definitely give me that bohemian like, um, almost in a sense like a farmhouse, but not exactly. Just elements of wood and lighter tones. I just love them so much. And then the hints of black, just an accent color I'm choosing for my home. So that's why I got this blanket, it's gigantic. We need to wash those. And this I got for $10 as well. This is just a ceramic like pottery vase. This one was not in like the greatest condition. It did have like, you know, a little bit of markings on it, which I didn't mind because I plan to rotate it anyway. On the bottom, it does have like the tiniest chip. Well, I mean, I guess that's not super tiny. So I figured I would work with it because it was something that I was really looking for, but this was priced at $4. Every time I get near this thing, I just, I keep hearing it echo. Hello. Next up, I have these two candlesticks. I put the little candles in there. Um, I'm not gonna put them like this. I just wanted to we're gonna put those candlesticks to the side real quick, <laughs> but I just put them there for the sake of just starting the video. But anyway, so I got these two um, candle stick holders. They're a matching set, so one's shorter than the other. I always find a lot, but they're never like matching for the most part, or if I do find a matching pair, it's not my favorite. So when I found these, I knew I had to get them. The big one was priced for $3.99, and this was priced for $2.99. I got a bunch of candlesticks for that reason, for my candlestick holder. And these are tapered, just candlesticks if you're gonna wanna Google and find some for yourself. But they had a matching set for about every color. They have the tan, like yellowish color. They have the green. They also have a black in here. And I got all of these for $4.99. And we have this basket and this was normally priced, it actually has a tag on it uh, for $12. It probably looks like something that was like at a little boutique or something like that. And they sold it for $4.99. It could be like storage, like in your coffee table, you could put your remotes or, or you can use it for your pantry. It's for organization, but that's what that looks like. I found a very similar picture 
um, to the one I was looking at on this store online. I'll put the picture here. I think they were trying to sell theirs for like $35 or something like that. And it's like lit literally identical. Like this one has speckles just like the other one I found online. So I got that for $4.99. I love a multi-purpose item, so that's the really cool thing about thrifting, is just you can use an item and multi-purpose it however you want because it's just so inexpensive. So you can do flowers or as a decor piece and also to actually serve drinks with. So as you guys saw, I was in Value Village and I found these amazing mixing bowls. These are so well made and they're so heavy. So let me set them down. So the bottom says that it's a pottery craft made in the USA. Uh, this is the two and a half quart and it's a microwave and oven safe but I plan to use it just as a mixing bowl. And this is what that looks like. This one was $6.99, which I think is an amazing deal. Especially like stuff like these go for like super expensive. Um, this one was $4.99. This is a one and a half quart. And then I got the little one, and this is a half quart. And this one was $2.99. So I'm really happy with these. And you guys saw me flip out in the thrift store when I found these, I was, so pumped. At Value Village today, I found these salt and pepper shakers. So I have a set, but I constantly am taking them from like my table to the oven, like, you know, to cook. And I use them instead of like grabbing out um, of my seasoning cabinet, like salt and pepper. Like I just gravitate towards the salt and pepper shaker themselves. So I decided to get another set so these ones are actually really cute they got little leaves on them but you can't really tell because they're um the exact same color but they're in really good condition and i want to use these for the dining table and i got a new dining table so once we're done with this haul i'll kind of show you guys i got these salt and pepper shakers probably about for like 2.99 i believe i took them out of the little packaging so i found this at value village i think i showed you guys these are just little ceramic dishes um they're dishwasher freezer and microwave safe and i plan to use these for or, you know baking you can cook stuff in it you can portion out things when you're cooking to have everything in place it's also called mise en place if you're wondering um the definition is just to have everything in place and ready to go and where it needs to be before you officially start baking or cooking um i think it's a french term i can't remember they're like a little cream yellow color i got a whole set for $3.99 there is six of them so i thought that was Plenty. This dish right here uh, for $3.99. Um, obviously, it's a multi purpose. You can use it as a decor item. You can put like remotes, you know, for the living room. You can use it for jewelry. You can use it for like a snack tray when guests come over and put little things out. Um, so, yeah, you can use it for anything. These are great to have on hand. I'm probably personally going to use it for my jewelry. Um, in my closet or by my bedside table. I'm not really sure, but that is the idea behind this purchase. It has a cute little handle on it as well. This next piece I got is $3.99. Um, it's just a wood little slab. I don't know exactly what the purpose of this was supposed to be, but in my opinion, it could be like a ladle like spoon holder like what you put on your stove um it can as well be used for your coffee table to, you can put candy um jewelry like i said bedside table to put like little knickknacks and stuff like that so that was like a really cool shape so that's why i got that these cups right here i had to google just to make sure i knew what i was talking about um but these are technically called footed cups um are they also are known as like irish like coffee cups so you can google and that's how you would find these i saw quite a few i when i went to goodwill i saw some like this but these ones actually looked a lot better than the ones i saw at goodwill so um i'm glad i picked these up these ones are from value village got them for 249 each it's normally a party of two in my household just me and my husband for the most part but it is so cute i love these so much he actually really likes these as well i mentioned this in the thrift store that i had got um this and i had shown it because there was another one but it had like a little lid cap on it and the one i got did not although i think people use these to store their alcohol but i got this just to use as a simple flower base i thought it was cute so i didn't really care that it didn't have a little um lid for it but it 
is an option when looking for stuff like this. I cannot tell you guys how excited I was when I found this. I legit freaked out. This is a beaker. This is like commonly used for like bartending. So let me show you. So on Amazon, I actually bought this shaker. I wanted a really classy, long lasting shaker that was kind of stylish to keep out. And I almost bought the beaker because I really wanted one. But of course, like I found it at Value Village and I was so excited inside. And I actually got this at an estate sale, but you can find that haul on my Instagram. You know, you can muddle things. I mean, you can use it for whatever. $5.99 for this beaker. So this can be a multi-purpose item. You can store like all your bar essentials in here and obviously actually use it to serve up some drinks so that's up to you in a thrift haul or a state sale haul on my instagram i shared a necklace that i got and this is the exact same thing um except this one's like a cream color and the other one i got was like a brown black one i see these at the thrift store all the time but can somebody tell me like what the actual purpose of these is is it like a religious thing is there an actual purpose for these or are they just decorative or are they actually necklaces because every time i see them i find them in the necklace section in the thrift store and i've seen them like for years and years and years but i've never bought one i've never seen the purpose of buying one until now i bought these to kind of replicate you know like the the wooden bead decor like where people are stacking them like on top of books and such and i try to buy secondhand most I can so this is the closest thing I could find at the moment but this was $2.99 for this this was the first um, vase that I found when I walked into Value Village for the first time and this was yesterday I love this so much $4.99 for this it is heavy stone it is actually really cool if you carefully look at it it just has like these beautiful natural designs it's more like a yellow it's like a yellow orange, but like a very faint, 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 like almost like you can pass it as just like a cream. Something like this, brand new Pottery Barn RH would be so expensive. So I'm really happy I found this. I found this little container thing and it has an engraved bird on it. And I mentioned that I was getting it for a girl named Daisy. So um, kind of backstory on that is there's a girl that is at the daycare I work at and we're pretty close and so um, she really loves birds and she has all kinds of birds at her house. She bought her newest bird for like a show and tell. I never liked birds growing up. I never understood why people had birds, but after like watching her with her bird, I really like was in awe of like just how smart a bird is. And so I saw this and I was like, I have to get it for her. I mean, it's just so cute. I just couldn't leave it. And so it's $3.99 for this cute little engraved glass container. Um, I figured she can use it to store like little jewelry items in her room or maybe candy or something like that. But I think she'll really like it. Fingers crossed. Daisy, if you're watching this, this is intentionally bought for you. So I hope you like it. She does watch my videos. So I think she told me she does, but we'll see. So a few more dishes over here. I got this like marbled little tiny bowl. Super cute. I am in love with this one. My husband loves this one a lot too. Um, here's another small bowl. Just little bowls to mix things in. This one was $2.99. This one had two tags on it. It's a little confusing. It had a $1.99 and a $2.99. So I don't know what the purpose of that was, but Anyway, I don't really care that my dishes don't match too much. I think it's actually kind of cute looking when they're kind of mix match. Keeping the same tones is what I'm trying to do for sure. I also got these plates. This one's like a cream one. This is what this one looks like. I staggered them so there's five total and I paid $1.99. So this picture frame was a little bit pricey but I thought it was really cute and I try to buy second hand as much as possible. Uh, this was priced at $10. I got this uh, for my bathroom. It is so cute. It's like a little balcony picture. Don't know exactly where this photo's been taken, but it is a very beautiful photo. So I got this basket, and it's like a basket bag. So technically, like, okay, it's supposed to have two handles. Um, I didn't see that in the store. It just had this one, but I looked after I bought it, and it looks like there is a missing handle here. 
but I thought it was still cute. I'm thinking to use it as maybe like a decor piece. I think the little handle just like draped down on the side is cute. Although yes, I would like the other handle to be there, but I'm totally fine with it not being there. And this was $6.49 and it opens right here. Just kind of turn and lift and there, there's the inside of it and that's it. So it's a really unique Bag. I don't know how I'm gonna style this yet, so we'll see. So I was not in the mood to do clothing shopping at all, but when I was walking through the aisle, um, of course, I did help my husband buy a few things, but I found only one thing for me, and so this is just a giant oversized Carhartt uh, flannel, and this is a size, it says it's an extra large. This one's $12.99. It is a really pretty distressed purple color in person, and the material is like really heavy duty, like, worn in um, and it just makes it comfortable although because heavy duty material is not always the softest but the fact that it's a kind of has that worn in feeling it feels amazing on so I love the cute little brown Carhartt label right there. As for Facebook Marketplace, I actually found this cute little fruit basket for $5. Like, how cute is this? So this is the fruit basket of my dreams. So this is the table I got for $65. This is kind of like what it looks like. Super cute and very sturdy, um, nice wood. I cannot believe like the price we found it for. It is absolutely insane what you can find. If I haven't convinced you already that secondhand finds are absolutely amazing, unique, and special, um, definitely try it sometime. But anyway, I love everything I got and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I love shopping and finding all these items. Um, I do hope to have more thrift with me soon. Obviously, it's a little bit difficult during this time. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on my post notifications to know when my next video will come out. I love doing thrifting videos and I hope to continue to do more. And hopefully soon I can show on how I style these items, which more than likely be on my Instagram. So if you like to see more of that stuff, definitely follow me on there at BBMAR, B B E E M A R, and also follow me there for more thrift hauls because that has some exclusive content there as well. So whew, I'm gonna excuse myself to clean these items now and wash everything, disinfect. So I'll be busy for the next hour hour and a half and i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys continue to stay safe and to social distance and i will see you guys soon